it's about being fully grateful for where you are, but then being open to the spontaneous evolution of your life to more self-actualization. Yo, Elliot. Yo, Elliot, I recently realized that my neediness was a symptom of some deeper issues. The fear of not being good enough, of being powerless, or of not having control, meaning that it never had anything to do with other people I've been interacting with. After realizing this, I obviously could no longer be fearful of losing them because there was nothing to lose to begin with. To achieve success, you either obtain what you want or realize that you don't need it altogether. Nevertheless, this made me question all the other things in my life that I feel I quote unquote need, or do I really need them, or is it just a trick from my own mind? Therefore, my question is, how can one differentiate between what is needed and what is a want? So we can go real basic with this in terms of Maslow's hierarchy of needs, right? Maslow, you look it up, it's a little triangle. You can even see it like if you go Google images. Maslow's hierarchy of needs, and right? At the bottom of that pyramid is the foundation and that is, that is really what we need to survive. So it's safety, it's security, it's shelter, it's food, it's sustenance, right? There is a base level of need, right? And those are base things, right? You need food, you need water, you need shelter, right? But as you move your way up this ladder, it goes from basic survival, right? Which is feeding the body, taking care of the body, to tribal association. And that's interesting because right above taking care of the body, it, we move right into the realm of, of, of community and communication, family, people, tribe, right? So he calls it a hierarchy of needs because the bottom is you can't go any further without passing the first level. You have to be well fed and cared for. But then you move up to another quote unquote need, which is uh, tribal association. And the, the part of the reason why we need tribal association, quote unquote, needs tribal association is because even developmentally as a species on this planet, we couldn't survive with one without one another. Human beings are one of the only animals that have our eyes in the front of our head, right? Most animals have their eyes like over here, like my dogs, they have their eyes over here. You know, most animals have their eyes here so they can see a lot of different stuff. Only like certain monkeys and, and people have our eyes here. So what does that mean? That means somebody got to have my back, right? If we're going to protect ourselves, if we're going to take care of each other, if we're going to live, we're going to survive individually, I need another guy with his, with his, with his back to me. I, want, I need guys over here and back there because I can't see 360 degrees. And so being eliminated from that group, eliminated from that tribe literally meant death, right? Is that the case today? Well, in a way, we do. We absolutely do need one another. We 100% need one another, right? We all need each other. We can't survive as a man on an island, but it's a little different, right? We could be, we need each other, but we're more disconnected, right? Like, so for example, the, you know, I need the Amazon driver. I don't know him. He might not like me. We may not agree on things. We don't necessarily have each other's back, but he brings me stuff here that I need, right? Like I need this thing and I bought it. And so without him, I couldn't have it. You start moving up that ladder and then you get to the top, to the pyramid, right? The top of the pyramid is self-actualization, right? And that is transcending self. That's nirvana. That's enlightenment. That's all, you know, of course we move from base material, mama world to father world, pattern world, spirit world. And Maslow asserts that all of these are needs, but in a way they're not, right? Like you don't, you don't need to achieve self-actualization to live a life, to live a decent life, right? To live a, to live a, to live a decent human life. So what I'm getting at here is that it's perspective, right? What you need, like my father, he, my father's very basic about things. He said, you need food, shelter, food, shelter, and water. That's it. That's all you need. And he's right. In a way, he's right. He's 100% right. That's all you need. But at the same time, I'm not a beast. I'm not a dog. I, ha there's, there's, there's high, I have higher callings. And so I don't think it's a trick of your mind. I don't think it's a trick of our mind when we think that we need things that may be just our wants. I think it's our higher calling that does that to us. I think the fact that we have the Imago Dei image of God on our soul makes us, makes us 
have the capacity to expand into the whole. We could be having do anything as a human being. It literally, it really is true. We're the only species on the planet that have that capacity. Do we need to do that? No. But it's 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 like like a dog barking. Does a dog need to bark to live? Well, no, not really. It just needs to eat. But it's not a dog if it's not barking. And do a, does a human need human being need self actualization? To live? Well, no, but that's what a human does. A human keeps striving. I don't think it's good for us to, I don't th I think we should always be on the way up, expanding, looking for more. Remember earlier I talked about uh, being content with where you at, but I didn't stop there. It's not about being content where you're at. It's about, it's about being fully grateful for where you are, but then being open to the spontaneous evolution of your life to more self-actualization. So I know you're asking me a question, what's the difference between what's a need and what's a want? It really, I don't know. I don't know. Because as a man, for us to really, truly, fully live as God intended us to live, self-actualization should be up there, right? Tribal association should be up there. You're talking about women in one of your, you know, your, your lead up to this question, talking about women. You don't need women. You're right, you don't need women but you're not really fully living if you're not doing all you can do, right? Like make babies, right? Make children. It's something we can do. I don't believe this idea that the planet is overpopulated. I don't believe that there's something that, you know, somebody said to me the other day in one of my comments that the most un, the most un extraordinary thing a person can do is make babies. I'm like, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard because that's what we do as human beings. We make families. We make legit families. Animals can't do that. It's a very divine gift. So do you need it? Well, I think in order to fulfill our role, to fulfill our potential, yeah, it's a need. But that's just my opinion. I'm just ranting on that. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from one of my most recent King Transformation classes with my students, where among other things, we get together about four or five hours a week and we speak on things as it relates to becoming kings in our lives and fitness, business, and with women. If that sounds like you and you wanna join a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day, in every way in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram and then DM me the word king, K-I-N-G, and then me and my team will get back to the details to see if you qualify. I really hope to see you at the next meeting, done.